<clears throat> oh man, okay, so we are back with another episode of the Black Star Sports Podcast, episode 7. Trying to make it consistent. You know? Oh yeah, we, of course, we, we've been putting stuff out every Thursday, every Friday. It's hard, it's hard. We're trying to come with come up with like a consi- consistent day. We got consistent to days, don't a, No, like a, yeah. a set day, like oh, a set, specific set, okay. day so they know when to tap in. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think we should just put that. You well. know, like Joe Budden, I always know when to tap in Wednesdays and Saturdays. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I yeah. want it to be like that, you know? There's this twice a week. I thought it was more than that, actually. Twice a week. Maybe it's because the clips that they, they keep putting yeah. in. So it makes yeah, it seem yeah, like yeah, it's more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so well, we got a lot of stuff <clears throat> to talk about. You know, the NBA is returning. So that, you know, naturally means that we're going to have more, you know... Ooh. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Man, it looked like he didn't scratch or something. Man. <laughs> so, yeah. I got, I got excited. The NBA <laughs> is back. And there is, you know, again, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. But before we get into NBA um, topics, we're starting to see a long-awaited trend of high school players... High school prospects going to colleges that are HBCUs. Man, finally, about time. We're finally seeing this trend start. You know, we saw that with <laughs> Mikey Williams, uh, Thon Maker's brother, finally committed. Finally, you know, committed. Cousin, oh, cousin, not brother. Yeah, I thought they were are, related. Are they cousins? Not, right? Cousins. Okay. Finally committed to Howard University yeah, over both of them. UCLA and Kentucky. Right, right. So, and I would always say to myself, like when I was younger, <laughs> why don't you know, black recruits do that. Why don't we... I know, well, obviously, we knew the reason why. Because they feel that that's how they're going to get the most clout. That's how they're going to, you know, get their name up. Be able to, like, the positions that they can play is going to, you know, guarantee that or garner that. <clears throat> but I don't think for a long time we, you know, players really knew how much worth they had. Because especially <laughs> in the NCAA, that league is player-driven. Like, the money goes where the players go. That singular, <laughs> you know, one, money, two, you know, money, player. M-O-N-E-Y. Exactly. Like, you see how that's why one and done. business. Exactly. Man. That's why, you know, the one and done thing is kind of, in my opinion, fucking up um, the NCAA. But then again, the NCAA is corrupt anyway. So, I'm not really mad that it's, you know, they're it's it's, it's, fun, up, it's funny. It's funny you mention that because, uh, uh-huh. bro, I'm telling you. It, Taylor Rooks. Taylor. Bro, you yeah. need to MVP. follow her. You need of to course I follow her, bro. You what you said? She had, she had DeMarcus Cousins. I saw on, it. Uh, I saw that. Her show. Yeah. And DeMarcus Cousins was talking about how, like, she 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 asked DeMarcus Cousins, like, right. why didn't you, and if if you were to go back in time, would you choose an HBC? You went to Kentucky, right? Yeah. Yeah, with and that stack team. Yeah. He said, mm-hmm. yeah. He's like, bro, like, I recently went back there to go... I recently went back to, like, I think he went to some HBCU school. He was like, Uh bro, the amount of black people I saw just walking. I was just, I was just, like, in a... I was, like, amazed. you were at home, man. I'm like, bro. He was like... And then she's like, why, like... Like, why why didn't you... Why didn't you, like, consider going to HBCUs? And he was just like, yo, they were... They were... They didn't... They didn't offer me. Yeah. They didn't come and recruit me, really? you know. Okay, and I okay. feel like those schools thought they couldn't get those five. Maybe yeah, recruits. they already think they already think so low of themselves that they they're like, why bother? That's a good point. And he said, and he said, all it yeah. takes is one, bro, right. to change it. He said, right. if you could go back and already seen change it, it. Yeah, yeah, bro, we we're seeing it, but mm-hmm. is it is it a is it as big of an impact? Because like, why well, this it's, point? It's it's, it's, it's Maker, Maker McCur- I, I'm, I'm not even trying to like disrespect his name, but like I feel like if it was a, a Mikey Williams or a right. Le, uh, LeBron James Jr., everyone's right. gonna be like, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, especially ooh. LeBron. So I'm, I'm hoping he comes out there. And, I don't and think LeBron out. James Jr. will go to HBC. No, I'm talking. I'm talking about Maker. I hope he balls right. out because he's right. he's he, his his pure focus is one and done. He's like, I'm trying to go in there. Put it on the map. Like to me, man. Make other people make that transition over there. Because all it takes is one and two. How three, do you feel four, about five, the one and six. done? The run, even though we weren't going to talk about that really. But how do you feel about the one and done rule? Yo, I was talking to my cousin. Because I'm like low-key 50-50 on it, to be honest. Now that I'm older and I'm really starting to... I wish, I wish they could just... <sighs> if they were being paid in, in, in the NCAA... 
I would be against the one and done rule. But because they're being paid, I do understand the fact that, you know, some players are like, hey, I need this money now. I need this money to help my, my people my out now. Yeah. So what my happens friends. if what happens if I'm in you know, I get hurt yeah. in my college career and I yeah. could have been what are making you gonna money? offer me? Exactly. So I get that. But at the same time, you know, when you get to the NBA and you are a one and done, I mean, there's been few really, really good one and done. You know, for the most part, if you're you have a high chance of not really being a polished player. Name that few. Few? Yeah. I mean Kobe. Then well, not one and done. Are done. you talking about from college to yeah? The yeah. NBA Let's say yeah, or yeah. from high school to the Shit, NBA. Because I, mean, I think I think they should cancel that whole thing and let high right. schoolers go to the NBA. But really? at the same time, I, I don't, don't think so. Because want this that. generation of yeah, kids, I don't know if I want in that. social media like. I don't know if they're ready. That's it's, what I'm saying. I don't know not, if I... I see both sides of it. But the fan of me is like, I don't want that because I don't... I want to get the best product I can see. You know, I don't want... I don't want kids that are coming to the league and are not really as good. Like, they're good in college, but, you know, the NBA is a whole different animal. But then I also get like, man, I do understand why some of these kids feel the need to do that because they need the money now, you know? So... Yo, the NBA is really transitioning, yeah. bro. Like, is, I'm bro? really looking like Carmelo Anthony right. is a fucking it's coming, veteran. Man. It's coming. <laughs> bro, we're starting to see what? it. We're starting I to see the players. When Carmelo meet, left yeah. Syracuse after winning, winning a national championship, bro, and going to the NBA, the Nuggets, bro, number right. 15, it yeah. was popping. Nuggets. His man. jersey was popping. Braden and Melo, bro. bro. And his shoes, his black and uh, baby blue. Yeah. Bella oh, with Bello, bro. They, they're Puerto Rican Jesus, man. Man, LeBron too, bro. <laughs> I remember when he was going from like high school to that. I wish I kept those shoes, bro, because I bought right. those shoes. Man, but that's yeah. It, things are changing, bro. When it comes to you know, you you start to see the generations that you grew up with are low key coming. Even the generations <coughs> below us, like a little bit below us, like the Steph Curry's, like they damn near the vets now. Like, I heard, man, that's Chris Paul's. Oh, God. Man, like, Chris this, Paul's on his way out. That's the <laughs> oh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like man, he want to play Chris more Paul, years. I remember when I used to play Chris Paul in <coughs> elementary school, bro, on on the sticks nah, in, like, in the Xbox, bro, yeah. when he was on the Hornets, man, when David was, West. You should have gotten an MVP that year. <coughs> Chris Paul was raw. I think he, could, he should have at least one MVP. But, dude. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I want more people to go to HBCUs. That's how you change everything. Oh, it's going to happen. No, it's going to happen. Because, you know, players are starting to figure out their worth. They're starting to figure out, hey, I'm the car to this machine. Like, I'm damn near the machine. I make money. And, you know, because of you, I'm going to bring yeah, money to this school. Exactly. And then that can that can start a whole chain effect of, of money being distributed more efficiently through, you know, black communities. Like, I, that's the first thing. I start. like it, but yeah. I think... I think the G League is also gonna. Right. A G, the G League is another way, man. That might fuck it up too. Five hundred thousand just to go to the G yeah, League, and I can still enter the NBA. That's draft. why. That's why I think. Like I think you were saying something. I, I don't know if you, you continue the thought, but that's why it's low key. It low key. I don't want to say it doesn't matter now, but since college, the NCAA is no longer like the monopoly. Like there's other options now. It's not really as big of a deal that. Players are going to HBCUs. It's still a big deal, but it's not yeah, like I get, I get what you're saying. You get what I'm saying? Like they're damn, they're not going to stay in college anyway. They're so going to the NBA <laughs> at this point, it's like you know, if the principle is 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 dope, but but it will at the same it, time, it, it's gonna give it's gonna give the other players at those right. HBCUs notoriety because yes. they're still yeah. they're 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 still D one athletes. They're of playing course, D1 of course. Ball. It's just they're, they're not still being looked good. at. Yeah, they're just not being looked at. And it's the money. It's politics, man. It is. If I if I have a child, bro, and if, you know, if he gets to that point where he's like, bro, you're, I'll, your wife's going to HBC. Bro, why not? Bro? <laughs> I don't know, yeah, bro. Educationally, bro, culture. Bro, I would just want to go there regardless, bro. bro. I was watching these HBCU videos, the marching, uh, the marching bands. I was like, bro, I'm low key thinking for grad school, man. Hey, if that's I, what my sister said. I was damn near thinking, I'm like, bro, I said. might, I might for grad. Just experience it, just yeah. to see something different because you're mm-hmm. always. I mean, yeah, I mean, you've been in diversified situations, but, right. like, it's more so the dominant it's white Asian yeah. than, like, being around 
yeah. black educated like literally people. feel how like the feeling of being around people you're comfortable with like to the fullest extent like I don't I don't feel different here you know even with diverse um you know communities you're still like okay bro I'm gonna be the black guy here exactly like and stuff just being a guy bro they, they take our culture anyway and make money <laughs> off of it keep it within man Keep it within. But, man, of course, you see all this, this stuff in the bubble. This nonsense happening. P- players getting corona already. This man Westbrook got it. Ooh. This man, um, I think Beasley got it. He had to leave. Yeah, he was there. He was had there and had to leave. So, he was there. So, that that means the and disease was, might be I there. I was really hoping to see Michael Beasley <laughs> yeah. in the bubble giving yeah. buckets. Because you're starting to see people, <laughs> players that weren't, you know, we're going to talk about this more in the podcast. We're starting to see players that are kind of getting a shot. Even even the um, people who are on their, on their way, like Harrison Barnes. Yep. That's still on. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, Harrison Barnes, too. Um... But I, it, it, I don't know. I, I just feel like, again, I feel like this bubble is well thought out. It's safe so far. They did like, a really good job. They did job. a very good job, especially from what <clears throat> they damn near. I thought it wasn't going to work, to be honest. If you ask me this shit like March, I said, bro, just, I, you can, <laughs> you see me. I said, it's not going to work. Yo, and, bro, and like, bro, shout out to Belisha Report. Oh, I, right. I, bro, I love that app. Just yeah, seeing, players, just bro. seeing these players and how they're rolling through up yes, to the Bulls world. Like you see, Joel Embiid in his little <laughs> <laughs> this man can't pass. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You know how Joel is hella oh, extra. Hey. I can't even be mad at him for He's that because you low key have to do that. <laughs> He's trying to be safe. Man. He's trying to be precautious. Players are out here <laughs> snitching. On other players because yeah, they are not wearing masks. Dwight Howard said he got snitched on for not wearing a mask. But come on, bro, just put on bro. a mask, bro. In my twenty five years of life, I've always been that. Hey, yo, snitches get snitches kind of snitch away, bro. In this, in this, in this, you this know, this is a virus, bro. This, this is, is a life or death virus, bro. It does it. It it depends on your body and how it hits you, bro. You know, and 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 if you look at this players, I mean, obviously oh, they're at risk of that. Yeah, and there's players that got family members there. A lot of these players got kids, infants, you know, <laughs> pregnant women. So it's like, if you, you know, that's those are at risk people. If you're trying to get exactly, you got to think about other it. people. Yeah, you that's why think about I'm not spreading it. Yo, <laughs> I, I read one that said that um, some guy left the campus to go pick up food. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, hey, I'm not gonna lie, their food look are, bad though. But bro. are they are they being serious or are they just playing around? I, I feel like some of this is BS because I'm looking them? at some players are just walking around. You know, I saw Kuzman and uh, Javel McGee going down right. the slides at Disneyland. I'm like, okay, like, they, oh yeah, they are there, huh? Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, okay, they're over here in the ice bath. Javel got a whole YouTube. Beer, yeah, you know? I saw. <laughs> you know? I'm like, they, yo, they're trying to make the best of it. You know, some players, especially Luca, like some players are actually really enjoying it. You know. Which is, and I saw I saw this, and I was like, bro, are you serious? Like, y'all really going to complain about this? I saw some players basically complaining about the conditions, being, acting hella like bougie. Like, bro, are you serious? A lot of these players damn near came from nothing. A lot of Forget these people, you getting millions of dollars, bro. Forget where they're from. And you're mad about staying in, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, the food do look like Lunchables. Like, but a grown man look like eating Lunchables. I don't know. But I, I just, mean, you... you you, you know the wow. media may twist and turn stuff like I right. see some people like you know like majority are like okay these are the circumstances we're in right. and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna roll through with I it. Would say some and LeBron I heard LeBron doesn't even, even have his chef or extra security he he's like everyone else bro I feel like LeBron <laughs> Who said, bro? Who was I? No, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be that reporter. No, bro. <laughs> bro. Man, shut the hell up, bro. bro you know he got everybody bro, there. We, we, I think it was everyone it was in like, each room. Yo, yo, yo. I, I think Where's was, my chef at with my food? <laughs> <laughs> Give them these reports. I'm over bro. here living like everyone else. I think, nah, bro. I forget who's 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 um. I don't know if it was J.R. Smith. Or some, it was like some. I think 
I don't remember who it was. Somebody who knows LeBron really well. But he was he was basically on his story. And then oh no, it was it was um Austin Rivers. Yeah, it was Austin Rivers. Austin and Rivers was, exposed? No, no, he was making a joke about how he had it like his phone pointed at like a big building. He's like, bro, this is where LeBron's staying at. <laughs> All of it. This is where LeBron's staying at. Everybody else staying in some room. You know LeBron ain't staying with us. Oh, come on, bro. You think you think uh, back in the day if this happened, you you think they'll have Michael Jordan in that room? Bro, Hell listen, no. man. I don't know. Dan, Michael I don't, Jordan, you have all... Bro. You have this whole floor. <laughs> Bring whoever you want. Listen, I We're going to do the whole well. protocol testing and everything. If they clear, they're coming. If they don't, they're going back. I know damn well <laughs> LeBron is staying in some place that is a little more decorated than the average player. Oh, man, I, 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 believe I, it, I just know. I just have a feeling that that's the case. It's, it's, it's like the thing. like Parents say they don't have favorites. They do. <laughs> Everything, every at company, everyone has favorites. Right. Everybody has favorites. Right. LeBron is the face of the NBA. That's their favorite. They're gonna treat him like royalty. They're trying to groom Zion. <laughs> They're trying Bruh, to groom Zion for that's that. That's the reason why they chose what the twenty four teams. Yeah, because they yeah it was a rumor that they're trying to like you know um, cater to the Pelicans, which I could clearly see that that Yo, seems like the case. I hope they keep that team because right. that's gonna be a. A beautiful documentary I feel like, in the making. I feel like money might mess them up, but we'll see. Who do you think is going to be greedy? I, I don't think it'll be Lonzo, but there's just too many young dudes on that team with too many egos, and no one's really this that Ingram. There's too many. There's too many. Um, well, they're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna they all probably lock think up Ingram for a long term deal because yeah. Ingram took that chance. Right. 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 And now they're gonna have to pay him. But they do think they all do think that they're the guy, though. I would think. I, or maybe not all. Maybe let me not. Maybe they they probably don't all think they're the guy, but I don't think they know who the guy is. So I feel like that can make a pro, that can probably. <sighs> I don't. I don't agree. But we'll see. I think they who know they who think, the guy is. They think it's Zion. I don't know. Come I don't know, on, I don't know if bro. all of them. All of them. Though. Come on. Bro. You sure? At this moment, maybe in time, most. I do. I do not think. I mean, that's a uh, you. You. Bring I up think really Ingram and then my butt heads. I no, personally think. Bro, no. I think they're all gonna come together and gonna be like, oh, we, there's magic here. I hope. If they I keep hope JJ, so. Keep that yeah, J- See if J okay if JJ's there as a veteran presence, I have more chance of it working. But if he's not there, if there's no veteran presence and it's just no, there's a reason why he left the Clippers. Right, right, because he wasn't fucking with that whole all that extra drama that was there. I don't know about drama. He really no, he did say that from his drama, podcast. Bro. He really respects uh. Doc Rivers. I mean, even respect he says him, how but... Doc Rivers gave him the confidence he needed to be like you know. But there's also other players there that would say that there was drama. Like true. So Chris Paul. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, he no, was the speculation victim party allegedly. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Chris Paul is just always like I feel like he's one of those players that. Um, he you know, follows the book. Yeah, and I think that he his his. Um, Passion to win may rub people, certain people, in the wrong way. But Bruh. you can't really be mad at that when. Oh, I was gonna say you can't really be mad at that when you win. But then again, he hasn't really won like that. So, oh, but I feel like that mostly isn't his fault. Even though that's a whole other thing. Yeah, he still goes down as a Hall of Fame. So you, uh, I don't think you win the ring though. I don't think you win the ring. I don't think so either. You unfortunately, chance. unfortunately. Um, apparently, Victor Oladipo. There's rumors that he might return. I don't really see how. Why. I mean, I can see the competitive side of that, but at the same time, it's like, bro, you have been out for, like, over a year. Bro, just rest. And you're coming out. back. You know, there's a there's a disease. Don't, don't rush it. Your team is most likely not going anywhere. Don't rush it, bro. I what, don't really think... What are they in the playoffs? I mean, what are they? What's their seeding? I'm gonna look them up. It's probably the lower seedings, I'm pretty sure. Even for the East. Um... But let me see. Let me see. What's their what's their seating? What's their seating standings? He's on Pacers the, uh, are Pacers. thirty nine and twenty six. I mean, they're gonna make the playoffs. Yeah, they're gonna be 39, in the bubble. Thirty nine and twenty six. You're gonna make the playoffs. Thirty nine and twenty six. The East, bro. <laughs> I mean, that's this is deep. That's above five hundred. Yeah, it is. But I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So they're what seed were they? You said they're they're <clears> fifth. Fifth. Oh, okay. That's they're pretty, above the Sixers. That's actually pretty decent. 
They're above the Sixers. The Sixers, bro. man. They, they make me sick, bro. <laughs> it's be Sixers, way better. Uh, way better than hey, they should. They, hey. Every team the the Sixers low key, bro. The Sixers low key should be the Ooh. best team in the East. I mean, they should be thirty for thirty. If you're looking bet, at the bet, t- bet, better bet than bet Milwaukee, Joel. better than t- Toronto, t- Toronto, they should be the best team in the East. Better than Toronto? Yes, they should be. Okay, With the talent they bet, have. Ben and Giannis, they what? They cancel each other out. If you're comparing. I feel like I okay, like, Giannis is a little bit better. There's no one who can guard Joel. Right. Yeah, Joel is seven. What? Tobias seven, Harris. Who can guard Tobias Harris on the no, Milwaukee no. Bucks? Eric Bledsoe like, is yeah, also Eric not. Bar- he's also back at home because he tested positive. Right. So oh, he, he's how, back at home because he tested positive. Because right. you have to That's come true. back. And then once you come back, you have to missing, quarantine bro. for 14 days before you can actually come out there and actually I, play. I feel like people are, are low-key underrating some of the players that are missing. Like I feel like just because it's not a LeBron or a kid. Or Eric Bunso is AD, huge. <laughs> and freaking LeBron. Uh, uh, who's the diff- uh, Evan, not, no, what am I talking about? Um, the defender. His name, I can't remember his name right now. I'm tripping. Who? What team? For Lakers. Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. Ooh, defender, defender, defender. Point guard, uh, Avery Bradley. Oh, he's... Avery Bradley's... Out. He, he decided not to come. Yeah, he decided not to come. But Dion Waiters. Oh, okay. Come on, Avery Bradley, you put in... I mean, Avery Bradley's better than Dion Waiters because he brings that defensive yeah. aspect, but... Dion Waiters. You're bringing he's... Dion Waiters, even though... I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out. I don't out, know how Dion, either. They, well, how's have they, he gonna have play? they all gonna played play? the game yet yeah. together? No. As soon as Dion came back... <laughs> As soon as he came back in the um, the, season, uh, ended, the right? season ended, right before he really got to to play with them like that. Who sees the Lakers are interesting. They're they they should win it all because they have LeBron. You right, expect right. LeBron to win it all. But, yeah, um, the Le- like the Lakers, man. We could have. I was telling you, you know, dun, dun, off, dun. off off the <laughs> off the camera entertainment off the speaker. Entertainment they got week. like five or six topics we could talk about, bro. LeBron's legacy. You know, Rondo getting hurt. They're missing Avery is it, Black. Is it, is, it, is it the end of Rondo's career? Is it time it's to hang up the shoes? And that might to, be because, you know. Co- going to the coaching aspect? <laughs> you think Rondo's going to be a coach? He's a good coach. Rondo's he has He's a, very, very smart. I just basketball don't think IQ. that. I don't know if he would want to be a coach. Player bro. development, bro. There's a, You don't have to be a coach. He might There's be. Okay, he might be. Yeah. Coaches, bro. He's I, a trainer. You're yeah, a trainer. yeah, yeah, You're yeah, not yeah, a coach. yeah. I mean, trainer is a coach. Right, right. But I feel like development okay. is a coach. Okay, okay. If you if you mean like just in bro, the, he's a player. So he so he's able to communicate with players. Right. To oh, I thought you meant like head bro. coach. Job. Come on, he mean, he groomed Lonzo to go to. Uh, I mean, he didn't tell Lonzo to the Pelicans, but he right. groomed like this is how you. Lonzo freaking nice. This is I still how remember you that are game. A productive NBA point guard in the NBA. Would he have like twenty something assists with no turnovers? Lonzo like was that? killing at one point. Bro, bro, he was a triple double machine. Hall of Famer. Oh yeah, of course. Well, I'm not, I want to say of course, but he's a Hall of Famer. First ballot. I think at one point, oh, first ballot. I don't know about first ballot. I think after his trajectory, when he was on the Celtics, was like, oh, bro, he's finna for sure first by. Then, you know, he he kind of like sagged off of that a little bit. He's still, it's still good enough to get him into the, you know, the Hall of Fame. But Celtics have a, uh, you know how they say uh, duos and trios? They right. Have a, what, what's four? Sure, quad, quadru- Come on, bro. You it's can't tell me Rondo quadruple. wasn't a factor. Of course, bro. But people really try to say that it was just Ray Allen, KG, and then um, Paul, Paul Pierce. Pierce. Yeah, like here, you man. gotta add Rondo to that. Come on, he's a point guard. I know trios NBA. sound like the system. sound more aesthetically pleasing or whatever. These I don't reporters, know reporters, bro. But they do really be these reporters, man. They just really like they're so biased. Whatever bro. they want the history to be is gonna be that. And I really started to notice that, even though we're we're kind of going off of a tangent here, I really started to notice that when it would be certain things I saw with my own eyes, that I'm like, bro, no, that's not how it happened. I was here. <laughs> that's not how it happened. Like, the way they really try to make it seem like the Warriors were trash without KD before, I'm like, bro, I, what are you talking about? <laughs> 
Oh, like, this ain't no YouTube footage. I, this is what I saw in my eyes. Man. Like, basketball's becoming so much of an entertainment now. Yeah. Like, they, they try to, like, write these storylines that you're like, why? And you know one thing, because, you know, we are talking about, this was a Laker topic, on how LeBron um, isn't choosing to wear, like, a message on his uniform. Who cares? Because, yeah, like, do you know the media's trying to push that as such a big deal? I think that, honestly, bro... Like what you were talking about, you these messages at the end of the day don't really mean shit, unless a, you do a, the action. Come on, you know? we're over here watching. Oh, equality, right? Oh, no, that's LeBron though. I mean, exactly. I'm not that's not, not LeBron's not. Who who's wearing equality? Oh no, LeBron's not wearing uh, it. Um, LeBron. I think did it wear it, right? Who's wearing blue? I don't know. I don't know. I this mean, I respect players. both sides for wearing. I mean, they're using it's their the thing, platform man. to spread spread the word, spread the message. They're all, yeah, they're all helpful. But I think like LeBron has built a freaking school. You know, for for kids to basically get free rides One of to the college ways to change everything that bro. actually changes with the young. Shit. Yes, you know, and actually put money into building an a, a establishment. Really nice that, school, bro. Really nice school. Yeah, I've seen the the videos of him walking I, through. I got a shout out. I got a shout out. Quibi. Have you heard of Quibi? Oh yeah, that's the the streaming. They have the... they have his um his documentary. Oh, his school. Check it out. Check it out. I I yeah, got I Quibi. Because it was on there, right, and it was right. really good. It was stuff. really good. So check it out. They have like a free trial. Check that check out, it out, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you check it out too, bro. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, so cool, yeah, yeah, of course, man. But LeBron not wearing his message and people getting like feeling some type of way about that. I'm like, I don't bro, here, bro. Is man Davis? Yeah, Jimmy Butler. Come on, they're not wearing them too. Like as long as you actually do the, you know, which. You know, do what you do, man. Do it. Do stuff to actually impact physically. I feel like that. Well, I respect it. Yeah, I respect it too. I respect people who are wearing messages. both sides. But I just don't see how I you can't do both or either or. Man, and have I it just, still be. I just, I just really want to change, bro. Man, I don't know, I really bro. Want to change. I really. Ugh, this needs to change, bro. Please go vote, everyone. Yeah, do that because <laughs> we we definitely need it. Even though I don't really think. You know, I'm not trying to get all political here, but I don't think both. I think both parties is kind of crooked right now. Oh, they're terrible, but you can <laughs> get one out. Come yeah, on. Yeah, we're trying to get pick your poison pretty much. <laughs> Come on. Um, But yeah, the Lakers, there's a lot of stuff going on with them. I'm over here hearing Kuzma is having trouble fitting Working in. With supers, I mean, I, I, even though I don't really think I don't, he needs to fit in. I mean, bro, it makes sense, bro. I understand. He's, he's, he's a young on, dude. Bro. You, know? you, you came in the league, you came in busting. Right. LeBron comes, Anthony Davis you comes. Came to the L- the JR Smith is coming over. Deion yeah. Waiters is over there. KCP, that. Yeah. come on, like it's like, damn, I can't really get my buckets, but right. just figure it out. Find your way, bro. Right. Find your way, make your money, get right. your championships. You already like people already know him, bro. You're yeah. already a big name. Ooh, well, he's in LA. Look at him with, his, you know? him with the models. So like you already got that part. <laughs> now, bro. You're For always the, gonna be remembered. The Kendall Jenner. Him and with his colored <laughs> hair, bro, bro. Look at him. Yeah. He looks like a cooler Dennis Rodman, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no? Kuzma, bro. I heard Kuzma was like one of those like nerdy kids. Really? Yeah. I, I, one of my friends like followed him, and like like. Since he was in high school or whatever, and apparently before he got to the NBA, he was like one of those nerdy, nerdy anime kids or whatever. Anime is dope though, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't hey. really see the Dennis Rodman. <laughs> but dirty, dirty. He needs bro, to fire his own way. Come, okay, not in terms of like, oh, I'm about to go to Vegas. But I don't like, know. You say Dennis Rodman? That's like that's a Kuz- pretty. <laughs> bro, Kuzman came in with what blonde hair? That don't mean you Dennis Rodman. Jason Kidd did that at one point. Okay. Kuzma got his own unique style relevant to Dennis Rob. I Kuzma is Kuzma. Kuzma, bro. I fuck with Kuzma, but I don't know. Nerdy, He's... whatever you want. What man coming with blonde hair? Shit, I'm like, nerdy. Stuff I'm like, damn, Kuz. Yeah. Go out there and ball. I fuck with you. Nah, yeah. it's. I want your jersey so bad, bro. I think, um, because we were going to talk about this later, but I think I personally had the Lakers win the whole thing. But, um, I just think that they have so many, we can come back to that. I just think they have so many, um, things they have to figure out and things that can change, you know, like 
in the blink of an eye so, because of this corona so, thing. Okay, of, so, okay, 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 okay. You over here trying to... So, <laughs> who's winning the whole thing? You got the I Lakers. think the Lakers win the you whole thing. You got your obvious. Your obvious yeah. is the Lakers. Uh-huh. And okay. are you on my sleeper pick? Of course. You always got to throw okay. something there that... My sleeper, sleeper pick going to shock you. I'm sleeper gonna shock you. come out of nowhere. The Ooh, OKC Thunder. Surprise. Thumber. The OKC Thunder are my sleeper pick. And I know it sounds crazy. I don't, I don't I know face value you might think, but then when you, if you really think about it, and think of if, bro, think about it. If the Lakers, now nah, obviously some shit. Some, they got some people, bro. They got, bro, they got Shea. They got, was nice. they got Damian Bagley. Bagley. Yeah, Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Uh, Steven Stevens, Adams. Steven Adams, yeah. Yo, and um, They've got people. at first I was, I was doubting <clears throat> Billy Donovan, but yeah, man, no, Billy Donovan. making a way out of nowhere, bro. So... He's making a okay, way. Okay, see, that's your sleeper? That's, that's an interesting I think one. They're my sleeper, bro, and that's, I think a that's lot. That's an interesting one, bro. But this year is so weird because anyone damn near who is in the playoffs can be a sleeper. They're five. Yeah. They're, they're 40 they're, and 24. They're nice, bro. They th- I thought they were going to be a lottery team. Damn. Honestly, even though I thought Chris Paul was like Chris the Paul came in out there being a general, huh? Yeah, okay. Because he's Chris Paul. Because hey, it's my last years, but I'm about to ball out, bro. Chris <laughs> Paul, everywhere he's been, he's the team winner. has gotten better. I, I like, really, improved. I really, I really, I really, 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 really want another. Just because I just know he does that. deserve a ring, though. Even yeah, though I he hate does, playing he does. when we play, I really him. want another backstory between Chris Paul and James Harden. I really yeah. want to know why that didn't work out. I don't. I think that's way better than what James Harden has with Westbrook. That's so I don't. I know think it's what, the same thing, but no, I think it's better. Bro. Russell and James actually know each other. They, they it's different. It's different when it's, bro. You have to have the off the court and on the court. I think I don't think Chris Paul and James Harden were on the same. No, level not off the court. Of but I think team. talent wise and how they mesh and the IQs, infinitely better than James Harden and Westbrook. Infinitely. Now chemistry wise, probably, you know. Off the court and stuff like that. Maybe James Harden and Westbrook. But I, I just feel like you're taking a big chunk of NBA IQ out. <laughs> don't, We're replacing don't, be, don't, come, don't be coming at my boy Russell with his IQ. Russell, Russell so like, you're saying Russell Westbrook has a better IQ than Chris Paul? Triple, double, no. Okay, no. We're, no. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Russell, no. Russell has still got a high NBA basketball IQ. Don't get him, don't get him, out of, don't get at him like Russell's that. Things re- didn't work out. There's other pieces that left as well. Don't forget about don't forget about Chris Paul. Clint Capella left. Did they have Trevor Ariza last Capella. year? Trevor Clint. they had wasn't Trevor Ariza on the team last year or no? Um the last year I don't think he was. Because they, they brought in Ben McElmore. Yeah, I don't think and he was. someone else nah. left. Right. Um someone rep- Ben McElmore replaced somebody. I know that. Cause they still have Eric Gordon, right, James Harden. Um, but I think they were tougher. better. I think they were much better with Chris Paul. Okay, just played in that lineup. I think they were much better. I'm not saying like they're not dope with Westbrook. Westbrook's still dope. But I'm just saying like you downgraded, in my opinion. So if I don't think that Westbrook, I, the Westbrook team or the Chris Paul team and the James Harden team, damn near beat the Warriors. They were the closest team, and they came in close. You know, Injuries. I don't see Westbrook. Injuries. Honestly, I don't see... Even though I still think the Warriors would have won even if Chris Paul was injured but, um, that first year. But with I don't see James Harden and Westbrook doing that. I don't see that. Like, Chris Paul... Let me tell you this. Westbrook... <laughs> Bring it down. If the three... The first three quarters, you're right. I can see that. Uh-huh. But that fourth quarter, I will... I, I, I give my time. life for, for, like, betting against... For, for betting for Chris Paul in those moments. When you see Chris, Chris Paul... Paul make the right decision. Chris Paul... I damn near give the, the ball to Chris Paul over Harden in those moments. I damn near would. To make the right shot? Or to, to make, to, to to make shot. the right everything. <laughs> to make the right decision. Make the right shot. I'm, Chris Paul got clutch gene, bro. People sleep. If you really look at those, those Harden... Um, Chris Paul teams in the, the playoffs, like look at what Chris Paul in the playoffs. Hell yeah, over Harden because Harden don't even be playing like that nice in the playoffs most of the time. And you know damn well Westbrook is gonna do some shit. You don't know what he finna do. Hey, in this last hey, throughout experience becomes knowledge. 
I, hopefully, but all I have to do is go off of what I've seen so far in his 11, 10, 11 year career. And I'm just ready. James Harden came back slimmer. He did, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what. I saw, bro, I, I, I don't I, think I you like, can say I the like Rockets are sleeping. I like their little training clips they be giving us on Bleacher Report. Shout, shout yeah. out Bleacher Report. I well, who's your pick, though? You over here talking, man. What's the pick? <laughs> man, so I was debating, bro. Uh-huh. I was debating. I don't think you can you say know, the Rockets are asleep at all. You know, I'm, I'm, huh? I don't think you can say Rockets are asleep. You don't think, okay, because they're, but I you don't, like you don't think people wouldn't say Rockets are gonna win. Oh no, no, I would, I, but I just don't think you can call them a sleeper because they like if, if they damn near. Oh, okay, so what would you call them, sir? I'll call them like a contending team that is expected okay, so to really we'll, make noise. We'll, we'll change the title to contending teams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that okay. better? I mean, our okay, that's, that's sleepers, fine. contending that's fine. teams. That's fine. For me, it's uh, Trailblazers. True. Okay. So yeah, after although, all that time, that was never <laughs> <laughs> Although I know that they're gonna get the eighth seed okay. and probably play the Lakers. People think that they might have a chance to beat the Lakers. But look, look, listen here. Dame Lillard was killing hey, man, he when was, the season was going yeah, he on. Was doing, he was, and okay, this whole 40, stop, 50. this whole stop. Okay, we have this whole stop, but I guarantee you he's gonna come back killing. CJ McCollum's finally healthy. Right. You got Nurchik, Nurkic no. coming back. Nurkic, Nurkic, Nurk, Nurkic. I'm not even trying to disrespect. <laughs> you. Say his name again, Kobe. Uh, Nurkic, Nurkic. Yep, is coming back healthy, slimmer. Mm-hmm. That's huge. That's huge. The only thing I question... Jokic is still hurt or sick, right? Is he? No, yeah. oh, I thought he was there. Is he back? You said Nur- Nurkic or Jokic? Uh, Nikola Jokic. No, I, I know you got he, it. I think he's there in the bubble. Shit. If he, he better be because if he's he not... Cleared. I thought he was clear. Okay. Because cause if he if he's not there, bruh. <laughs> That's going to chase something. You know, you know another... another um, Oh, another um, another NBA anal- an- analyst I fuck with. Who besides Terry Rooks? You know this dude named Chris Haynes. Yeah, Chris Haynes for Bro, the Warriors. Dude. I'm telling you. Oh, fuck, I fuck with I'm, Chris I'm Haynes. Giving you gems. Love Chris Haynes, bro. Bro, like my girlfriend told me, like, bro, I got, I got, I got these gems, bro. Like, mm-hmm. check out this podcast, <laughs> the Bill Simmons podcast. Bill Chris Simmons Haynes is on there, and he's just talking about his backstory. Do people like Bill Simmons like that? I don't think people You know it's so with funny you read my mind because I, I wanted, I wanted to like ask that. you. I know we're going off a tangent. Yeah. Here. I was like, bro, I wanted to ask you, dude. Like, cause I in my the back of my head, I'm like, there's some reason why I don't fuck with this dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, a lot of people feel that way. I I don't really watch And him I wanted like to that, ask so. you, I was like, do you fuck with him? Because he said something, he said something the other day with He's Chris Haynes. Yeah. He was like, Yeah, I was there. It was the whole Ken it was the whole Kevin Durant and Draymond Green incident. Right, yeah. And mm-hmm. Chris Haynes was talking about the backstory how him and uh K- K D were supposed to have an interview right. and that whole situation happened, right? Mm-hmm. Um that whole whole situation happened before the interview. He was supposed to come on like a couple of days after. Right. And like Katie refused to not talk to the media. Yeah. And Chris Haynes was like, Oh damn, like, is he still gonna come on my show? You know, like I finally got a podcast, you know, is he going right. to come on, on, my, on my show and just talk about, like... But he still came on, right? Like, he still came on. Yeah. He was the first... He was, Chris Haynes was the first person, first media person that KD talked to. And they, was, fuck with, they fuck with Chris yeah, Haynes, bro. Like, but Bill Simmons said he was there courtside. He saw the whole... He's like, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm the uh, master of body language... And I saw KD and Draymond going at it, and I can't. I videotaped it. I'm what? like, bro, you that type of dude. Bill, I don't you know that <laughs> type of dude. I you just, that type of drama. Ooh, I'm I just, like I just know this. he. Yeah, I just know he's really controversial. With a lot of stuff he says. Like, I know that his pod is really popular, but I, I don't really hear. Spotify, got, Spotify gave him the ringer. Yeah, I don't really hear Spotify too many good things. Spotify gave him a bag. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. You got to go on Spotify. That Spotify gave him so, yeah, so, so a bag. So, yeah, so your your team that you have winning is... Lakers the slash Lakers. Clippers. Bro, you can't do that, bro. You got to pick one, man. Come on, now. I said Lakers. Well, I saw... I saw Ke- I'm this sorry. man said I saw, Lakers I slash Clippers. I saw Clippers. Kawhi come on the court the other day. You said Clippers, out. bro. I was like, ooh, no, but... No, I'm sorry. <laughs> the only mean? reason why I keep no, the only why I say Lakers slash Clippers, I'm hesitant. I'm hesitant on the Clippers because of Paul George. 
So yeah, I'm going, that's why I'm, I'm saying Lakers. More on the Lakers. Yeah, I say Lakers can, and also Kawhi and Paul Drews have not even played together like that. But they have a good record together, though. I mean, they Hard. do, but but playing together, I, I just feel like the best availability or best ability is availability, and I and I'm not really even coming on Paul George be turned. I'm not coming on Adam in skill. He's raw. Yeah, I mean, he he's just, raw, but when it comes to the playoffs, he's been ooh. His mindset, bro. Ooh. Like he has the talent, but he don't got the. He exactly. don't got the heart. Thank I don't you. Think. He don't really got that. My mouth. You don't have that killer. Everybody on that team, I, I'm like Pat Bev, Montrez, Kawhi. Like that's unquestionable. They're killers. Lou Will, he's still there, right? Lou He's Will. still there? Yeah, Lou Will. Just, do you know why she was <laughs> Man, you didn't know who Jokic was, bro. I do know. I mean, oh, I heard of him. I mean, what you said is Lou Will still there. Where'd he go? I don't know. It's he been, was there, he was bro, it's been four or five season. months, bro. Come on, man. It's been four months, Lou bro. Lou Will still there. He's still trying to get into okay, a okay. ring, bro. My point is... All those Come players on, were killers. Hall of Famer. All those players. He is a Hall of Famer. He has got like what three or four, six men. Man, like, and a ring. Like what maybe. kind of shit is that, man? That's insane. That's that's decorated. So yes, I have the Lakers. And then your, your sleeper team sleeper, is, is no trailblazer. contender. Contender, like you said. <laughs> contender <laughs> is uh, Trailblazers. Yeah, I think I think Thunder are really, really, really big. Hey. I, I'm just I'm I'm just gonna be excited when it comes back on and I'm like no Man, fans. It's, it's back. It's group. coming. It's coming soon. I know it's coming. It's coming I know soon. It's, it's coming, but all it takes is one yeah, superstar just, to test yeah, positive. Man, we 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 rebuke it, we rebuke it. But hey, it, let's the, the chances of that happen are high, especially if it's a LeBron. I guarantee you, if LeBron Ooh, get it, we ain't speaking into existence. But if he does. Oh. Hold on. That whole shit. Not shit. continuing the season no longer. They don't want a freaking um, no, Trailblazers no, no, in no, no, uh, no, no. freaking Nets finals. Come on. <laughs> At this point, everyone, everyone's gotten. Yeah, me, we, we we already talked about it. I'm 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 on. Hey, you think like if someone you think you think playing. if LeBron got it, they would like keep quiet about it? I don't know, bro. And just. Letting them play bro, because they don't want. You, you know how busy. I would have doubt it. I bet you they would let his ass get it. <laughs> they'll, just, they'll just tell them to wear double masks. Oh, oh you're sh- asymptomatic. You're <laughs> <laughs> just wear give, two. Just we'll give him the cure. Masks. We'll give this one the cure. Yep, yep <laughs> he deserves yep, it. Yep, yep. But let's go. Man. Let's get it. But um, so we had a topic down of the finishers, best finishers in the league. Man, Since best finishers. The in league, league is returning. We are going to see a lot of these. I mean, there are players that we would put in the best finishing category that aren't going to be in it, like Kyrie, because you know, obviously he's hurt, or I don't even know what he is right now, to be honest. Is he hurt, or he just doesn't want to play? I think he's hurt. I think he's trying to. Hit. Man, I mean, hurt, <laughs> like I said, like NBA's. Business. He might why, be hurt, why, but he might be trying why, to milk it. Why push your 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 value? I mean, your. Do you really think pieces, he's do you valuable think, pieces out there when you can rest? Right, them right, them right. Here. But do you really think he's actually too hurt to play? Come on. Oh man. no, he can play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He can definitely play. Hey, it feels but, good to make that money and sit out, huh? And make that man, money. Hey, huh? I'm not. Hey, I'm not knocking them. I'm just hey. saying this is what they're doing. Hey, they're good at what they do. Um. But yeah, so you had you had a list. I heard you. Obviously, Bro. I would say you know I kind of like had to change my mind a little bit since we kind of decided that we're gonna do we're gonna do the best finishers for this era. But best I mean, finishers for this era. I think um pretty much like the top point guards like a uh, Kyrie. Obviously, he's damn near the best finisher of all time. You know, you can all there's, time. there's people you can throw in there like MJ and like. George Gervin, people like that. Even though those are a little, um, you know, ahead of some people's times. Um, Steph is in there, I would say. Yeah, for sure. You know. could say AI. Isaiah Thomas, oh, 80s, you know, really slept on in that. Um, there's, there's a lot of players. Um, but I think that, for me, I would say the best finisher in terms of, like, a bag is probably Kyrie. Kyrie can finish. Because he just has saw a myriad of ways of finishing, you know, with either hand, contact, and yeah. one, sometimes, all that. Sometimes I just go on YouTube Dude, and I have, crazy, like, a bro. list of, like, yeah. the greatest athletes. And uh, I just have Kyrie in there, bro. Like, yeah, like uh, aspects, bro. jelly. Ball handling. Ooh, like you said, jelly. He just bro. he just be doing too damn much sometimes. He has a ball on the string, bro. Like, like, which is insane, man. I, I would love to just have a ba- – I would rather have an elite – like and one layup package 
than like shooting. Them. What do you think? What do you think is the the biggest? What is? What do you think? Biggest is the most, aspect? Most, yes, to have in the NBA. Probably shooting. If I can shoot well, that's that's a cool like twenty points right there. What about you? Gotta finish though. You don't have to. You could be a shooter. So what are you? Are you a um, come off the screen shooter? Are you a uh, can you create off the shot? Clay can for a long off? time, all he could do was shoot. Clay just started getting that. Like a couple years ago, started putting the ball on the floor and getting away package and shit. He used to be I, just a pump fake shooter. When I watch Clay, I'm like, bruh. this, this, this is like, this is someone I quintessential, bro. Yes, yeah, yes, bro. Defense, straight offense, up, yep. bro, gets you buckets. Bro. That's why he can play defense and so he's well. Tough. Because he's tough as shit, bro. That's that I call him Wolverine, bro. Because he he don't be like even when he gets hurt. Bro, you see how he damn near came back? Top 20 favorites, bro. He was like, fuck this, bro. I'm going to go back and shoot my free throws, bro. Let me bro, play. Bro, he was trying to come back. Let me play, bro. Let he me said, play. coach, give me five minutes, bro. If he was healthy, oh, they, they would have won. Oh, five, for, for sure. So, yeah, KD got hurt, but if Clay was still healthy, they would have right. won. Right. But, I mean, going back to that, I think, yeah, definitely, especially in this era, shooting, for sure. All, like, you damn near have to know how to shoot at any position now. No, no. Because Steph, no. Steph, you know, basically know. made it like that. No, I know. But, I was a decent hooper. Yeah, I had a good. I had a good shot, good mid range. But I like ball handling. I thought. I think yeah. ball handling is key, bro. Because like ball handling, you can you can create. Like for me, I could create, but it's like right. one a couple dribbles. I can't. I couldn't go like, ooh, I'm gonna like rock you, rock you, pull right. up. Right. It's like okay, I can come yeah. off screens. I mean, give I me it all. Run. I want the whole package, bro. Yeah, man, for sure, bro, bro. It, for yeah. sure. For I, sure. I think shooting right now, especially shooting's key, bro, is the most important. I mean, key, handle is key, is a key. Threes, four threes is twelve points. That's what I'm saying, and that couple, that can, couple that's couple, a league gone right free there. Free throws, right. two points, mm-hmm. dunk, you know. And then if you really know how to shoot, they gotta respect your shots. So you can full pump package. fake and shit. Full you package. can get fouled. You know, like I, I think shooting. Shooting is key, bro. Also, you gotta be man. Seven foot, man. I wish I was KD. Seven feet. I would not want to be seven feet. Who do you want to be seven Play feet? Like a guard. Come seven on, feet too damn. I want to be like Clay. Oh. Six six. I, I like to be. I like to be. I want to tower over people. Nah, I'd rather if if give me like if I could have anyone's game in history, I would probably take Chris Paul, but just shooting like a little better. Even though Chris Paul's a good shot. <laughs> Chris Paul's de- bro, Chris Paul, wrong, like, damn near could shoot. Like he's Chris a forty percent consistent. Shooter. Yeah, like he could damn near go in a three point contest and probably Chris Paul's raw, bro. Be in the top like solid. You know, last four or five. Like he's buckets. Nice. Like Chris Paul's just Chris Paul literally the only thing limiting him is his size. And that's not really even limiting him, but let me let me get to my picks, bro. Yeah, get yeah, right. So yeah, best yeah. finishers oh, yeah, in the NBA say, yeah. <laughs> that I have for our era after oh. we were talk after we talked. Right. I had Kyrie Irving, for sure. Yeah. Steph Curry. Yeah. Tony Parker. See, Tony's nice, too. Yeah. Tracy Pretty McGrady. Obviously, Michael Jordan. Yeah. Monty Ginobili. Ginobili! <laughs> it's my favorite spur. Argentinian. Of all time. He come down the lane doing some crazy-ass shit. Bro, he said Pop used to get mad at his ass, and, like, they Manu, told him, like, Manu will really... Because I used to root against the Spurs. Yeah. And he was a Laker friend. Manu, that's why. You know, <laughs> the Spurs. Manu Ginobili would just come over here and just be like, dude, he'll do something out of nowhere. And yeah. Like, crazy shit. And it, that's game. That, <laughs> and uh, exactly, that's game. Win the game off. Kevin Durant. KD. You know, game. Alan Iverson. Yeah. You also you put James Harden. James, yeah. Bucket. James Inside, Harden is just... game is pure... James Harden just has like his own like art of drawing fouls, bro. Like it's an and art. I and I hate how people. Are you one of those people that hate James Harden? Because I love James Harden. I, I love watching him play. Because he, no, he gives I love, you what you. you I love know James what he's Harden. Do and give you buckets. I love James Harden. It's just annoying playing against him. But I can't really talk. Like I'll talk shit about him. But I know that it's like, bro. He knows what he's doing when it gets to the when you, it comes to fouls, drawing fouls. Like he knows he knows how to. Yeah. He knows the loopholes of the rules to basically give me, get give me that. James Harden on my team any day. Bro. Yeah, James Harden is a elite first ballot, one of the greatest scorers of all time. I got Jamal Crawford. Jamal, oh yeah, and one. Oh my God, Lou I think Williams. I think you have to have the freaking. You better have it on. The the Jamal it can't be Murray. Dang, oh, that's sorry. crazy. Oh no, you good? You good? Jamal Murray. Yeah. Hey, you know Jokic is. You know he's not number one over Jokic, right? You know he's number two, right? 
In, in terms of finishing? Or no, in terms of that, that go-to player? Yeah, go-to. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, say, I'll say that. But, um... It's not popping up. Uh, dang. Oh, no, you're good. Dang, that sucks. But, yeah. And then, um, let's get to our next segment, bro. Um, okay. Start bench cut. Bro, you, yeah. why do you keep on, you keep on ignoring the the topic the the oh ad, yeah play the GM <laughs> bro. play the that's GM. a new topic we have that's though. a new topic we have everyone hey. everyone you know you we see these we see these GMs out here trying mm-hmm. to construct these NBA rosters man you know and I have you your your Kofi okay the GM of the Warriors you know your I favorite wish, team. man I should be start should bench be. cut okay I'm going in terms of like positions all right or like. Okay. Players that play are like okay. Damian Lillard. Dame, all right. Steph Curry. Okay. Kyrie Irving. Man. Steph Curry. Pause. That is. You are. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. This man knew what to do. Okay, start bench cut. Yeah, I came in. I did my research. Ooh. Okay. Well, hurts. we start in Steph. Of course. I don't really think that that's. You biased Warrior fan. <laughs> what? How are you? You know we list. started stiff. You know okay, we're starting stiff. Yep. Mind you, these are damn near the top three point guards exactly. in my opinion. Of course. So they're all nice. You're giving the title to Steph. Of I'm course. I'm just. I'm gonna give. Man, this is tough. Bro. Play this, the GM because bro, before you can't see your. If they came to you and said you have to make this decision, I gotta like, think oh, on this it. This is tough. No, you can think on it, but yeah, yeah come I, in I, with I, the, I'm trying to say this person. First of all. Steph is to me. It's Steph is is start. We're starting him. Okay. After man, the thing is, I'll say it this way: before a cup, maybe like two years ago, this would be an easy answer. But this man, Dame, is coming. This man, Dame, is like this. That Oakland, Oakland. I'm gonna have to bench Dame because Dame is coming. You are nasty. You are a nasty man. And Kyrie. Is, you're cutting Kyrie. I'm going to have to cut him, bro. He ain't available. He hurt all the time. He hurt. Hey, you're a biased Warrior fan, man. Come on, bro. This, bro, this man going to say bitch. Oh, okay. He going to say cut Curry, okay. bro. You, I already know that's what this you man play was the GM. That's your, yeah. executive, that's your executive decision. I would say that. Who are you? Who and are I would you say I would start off a team with him, too. And who are you cutting? So I'm starting Steph. I'm benching Damian Lillard, and then I'm cutting Kyrie Irving. And I like how you said you're going to start a team, because my next, yes. next subject for next episodes is going to be play the GM. Oh, that one to me is well, easy as fuck. Who's though. your franchise PG? Franchise but PG. Out of that's for three? a later time. Okay, we'll That's for a later time. Okay. Yeah, I said my answer. So that's who, that's who you chose. Y'all probably Okay. <laughs> play the GM. So you're going... Start bench cut. Okay. Clay Thompson. Man, these are gonna be shooters, huh? Ray Allen. Oh, you! Oh, I hate you. Reggie Miller. Oh, I hate you. Oh. Oh man, 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 man. Why you do this to me? Okay. See, if I say so, you just gonna say I'm biased, but I'm really not. Like no, I'm really just trying. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is. I'm gonna your, have to say Clay. Play. I'm starting Clay. I respect it because this man can. Dr- this man, I don't care. Listen, I know Ray Allen hits some shots. He's he was some shots. He Key was the shots. he was the yeah. He got LeBron with his his uh back yeah back back pretty much and, uh, it's pretty much you know I don't, I don't like saying he saved LeBron because people forget like what LeBron actually did to get them there and Ray Allen did hit the shot but LeBron was still going off that game so I don't really like saying he saved LeBron's career but Clay this man Clay honestly you can make an um you can make an argument that no one in the league his history has ever gone as hot. Put on the Hall of Fame jacket, Clay. This man, Clay, dropped 37 and a quarter, bro. Like, I was watching that game live. We all There's were... players that don't even have 37 as a career high. See, those are the type of players you can't blink. Or you can't blink. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you, yeah, you can't, like, you're gonna miss, miss a game. Yeah. Bro, I remember that year was like, you had to watch every game because, I mean, I watched every game regardless. Yeah, I think I saw that, sure. I, I saw that game in San Francisco at a man, bar. Really? Oh, at a bar. And, like, on yeah. a big ass, like, that game was, um, <laughs> what do you call those things? Projector. Yeah. Lit. I was like, what am I watching, bro? Like, 
Is this man really like crazy things, bro? He was he was on this. He he was. Bro, just it's crazy checking. to see how the Warriors started and yeah. how they are now. I I seen the whole thing, bro. It's since oh three. It's like the stock market. Sometimes you gotta just put the right pieces in right. place, and that was and just water the plants yeah, and wait for it to grow. That was that was the best explanation I feel like you could say for that. But <laughs> so we're starting clay. I'm starting clay. I'm gonna bench Ray Allen. And I'm going to cut Reggie. I'm going to cut Reggie. Because I think Reggie, to be honest, I don't want to... This is probably top for another day. Because he didn't he's, get a ring? No, he's low-key. I don't want to say he's overrated. Ooh. But and if you look at if you look at his... But the thing is, see, the thing about overrated, you can still be dope and be overrated. <laughs> I know. He was an 18-year career, right? What, not bad. Which is not bad. No, which is great. But what moments do you hear about him other than when he was like in the nineties? You know, in the um or you know, basically his head to head with Jordan. He was on the tail end of his career. You played for like two thousand five. Okay. How how old were you in two thousand five? Um like ten. You're twenty five now. Yeah. So like ten, yeah. So I was twelve. That's that's around the time I was watching Hoop. Right, right, that's right. That's when they had like Jamal is that when they had like Jamal Tinsley and like yeah. Jermaine O'Neal? Jermaine O'Neal freaking Jermaine O'Neal. And Ron Artest, right? Yeah, that that was for the Pacers. Yeah, that was them around the fight. I remember the two thousand The Mouse and the Palace. Was he was he assistant coach or was he hurt? Who Reggie? Yeah. I don't think he was involved in that. Yo, there's another podcast you should watch. I'm yeah. telling you, there's so many good podcasts. There's a lot, and bro. you love who? They're Let, about let's to Let's be... get technical with the Bonzi Wells and Rashid Wallace. In, uh... She got his podcast? She, she got a podcast? Bro. I don't, I don't know about this. Bro. I'm Ooh. Where have I been, bro? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, telling you. You damn okay. near, when I get home, you damn near have to make bro, a list for yes, me. Yes, I'm going to make a list for Promise. everyone. Thank bro, you. Who loves who, Thank bro. you, man. And, and we we going to put players. other podcasts. Listen, we know we're trying to do what we're trying to do, but we big up in people that are paving the way That's as well. We're not we trying do, to be just all exclusive, bro. We're a connection to other resources. Yes, bro. completely. Come on. Okay, so so the, you yeah, said yeah, start so bench cut. We start in clay. We cut in. Um, we're or cut benching. Um, Ray Allen, and then we're gonna cut Reggie um, Miller. Okay, okay. Cut Reggie. Last and final decision. All right. Play the GM. Okay. Start bench. Start bench cut. All right. Derrick Rose. This we man. talked about this earlier. Okay. Russell Westbrook. And there's man. and this is one player. Rose that, is so hard. This though, is one player that people forget about, but I think he started this whole scoring PG. Brandon Roy. Come on, bro. We, we're that. going. We're going earlier than that. Gilbert Arenas. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Come on, bro. Gilbert fucking Arenas, bro. Scoring PG. People combo sleep. Combo guard. First combo. Then he dropped. He have a sixty point game. That boy would just get buckets. And like just just listening to bro, he would he was like on Kobe his, level bro, of scoring to be honest. Just listening to his story on his how he got to the NBA is yeah. just hilarious, bro. <laughs> it's hilarious because bro, he just there's 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 these players that just have it. Yeah, they have that little. I'm that nigga, pretty much. You know, like little, they just know. Yeah, you know, it's just it's, it's just, not taught. They yes. just got it, you know. No, I'm already. So those players, know. okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go shoot. Okay, we're coming back and shoot. Okay, we're gonna go lift. You know, like there's yeah. those players. It's conditioned in them right. to put in that game. It's not even work to them. Talent and like, hard work equals success. Right. Yeah. No. He had both for sure. He just got you know injuries and you know pretty much wrong place, wrong time kind of thing. So start bench cut. Um. So you say Gilbert Arenas, Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose, Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. Star bench cut. I mean. I I would have to put if we're going based on like how their careers turned out, I would have to go Russell Westbrook first starting. Um, I guess I'll do. Uh, oh man, it's tough. Are you? Do you want me to bent, do it based on their prime? Oh, okay. But we didn't really yeah, even that's, see that's, some that's, people play. That's my right. bad. I forgot yeah. to mention it. Derrick Rose in his prime. Okay. Russell in his prime and Gilbert Arenas in his man, prime. Deep. Sorry. <sighs> We're not talking about the tell. We're not talking when they're you know we, what? when they were like they them, prime primes. I'm gonna say boys. I'm gonna say Gilbert. 
I'm starting Gilbert Arenas because I don't think people realize how cold that man was. This man was Kobe level, bro. He's a dog. For like a good two, three years. He's a dog. Okay, scoring wise. Um, Raining bucket getter. D Rose. I'm a bench D Rose. D Rose Prime. I, I, you know, he's starting to get to that point where some people don't really remember his prime like that. That boy was nice. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to have the bench or cut, um, who did I say? Westbrook. I'm going to have to cut Westbrook, bro. And it's, 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 it's going to be, that's going to be tough, but I don't know. All right. Yeah. So now we're going to go over. Your version of the start bench cut. I want to. I want to hear this. Play shit. the GM, bro. Started with play. The play the GM. GM. The start bench cut, though. Thank you. Bro. <laughs> play the GM. All right. You know, we GM. Go. GM's got to. They they play huge parts, bro. They play very. They got to make parts. decisions. Like, they got. They have to put pieces together. That's I feel hard. like. That's I feel hard. like honestly, like that's damn near the hardest job. And you, you get the most scrutiny in almost. But players, it's play, all oh, the credit goes well, to players. Well, yeah, all the credit sure. goes to players, for sure. That's the, yeah, and that's why you can see some people. Look. Come on now. You can see some GMs feeling some type of way about that when they don't They get. mean their feelings. Man. But come on. All right. Play the GM. So play the GM, start bench cut, part one. Ooh, I'll be coming with a right. nice ass suit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so we got. No, I want to hear all these. I want to hear some this. Nikes, I, bro. What's up? What's up? Come on, hit me, hit me with the questions. Bro. Shit, hit me with the questions. Man, I'm already, I want to, I want to hear his list. So we got the start, the start bench cut. You already know my list for this one. I really don't, man. I want to hear it. So we got Damian Lillard, Wardell Curry, and Kyrie Irving. How's this list going? Start yeah. for the show, Dame. <laughs> no, I don't Damien know. Oh, oh, I know Damien is number going. one PG in the game today. Ah, oh, let Curry come back next year. Paul, <laughs> let Curry come back next year. Damian Lillard is gonna come back <laughs> and still give buckets. I'm telling you, Trailblazers are my sleepers. I already know this my sleeper. Is. I know this is my is. contender because of Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, and Nurkic. Man. But Damian Lillard is gonna give buckets hey, hey, like hey, he who, was before hey, the season. And hey, who are you betting, before, bro? Before the the season ended. Huh? Okay. Well, yeah, I agree with that. So I'm starting Dame. <laughs> Benching Curry. <laughs> Benching Curry. Oh really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> cutting Kyrie. <clears throat> I can respect that. I'm sorry, Kyrie. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I can respect that. I had to. So what? What are your? Um, do you have like? Reasons for that, or you just man, it's 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 Kyrie's attitude on the court as a late. Bro. Honestly, I can respect that list for this year, though. Like, no, like yeah, just for this, this year, year. just I for can this year. That, yeah. I'm curious yeah. to see what's gonna happen next year with KD back, you know, right. and what they're gonna what the Nets are gonna do with those pieces, right? Because they still have like you know, Witty, you yep. know, they, yep. they have did like he get, did he Casey. get Corona too? Yeah, so he he's did. not coming back. Man, see, these are but they have pieces, and I'm just I'm just do. curious That's to see what they're piece. gonna do with the pieces and what coach is gonna come in. Right, right. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, as of right now, thing. I have uh, Dame. Right. Starting PG. Okay. I'm starting when we start our, this other segment again. Mm-hmm. He's my he's my uh, franchise PG. Really? Man, you just gonna tell him that right now, bro? Of course, I'm confident <laughs> my, my my picks. So okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I right. respect it. So, for part two of this segment of the Play the GM, start bench cut. Clay Thompson, Ray Allen, and Reggie Miller. Who you benching? I'm starting with you. It's similar to yours. Honestly, yeah. it's damn to yours. It's Clay Thompson starting. Uh, yeah. Um, Reggie Miller, he's cut. He's cut. And Ray, Ray, yeah. Ray, Ray Allen's coming off. Because if you really look, like, Reggie Miller, bro, like, he didn't do as much as these guys. Yeah. In his 18-year career, bro. For real, bro. And and these players are don't I, I better can, than I him. can honestly say, as generation went on, yeah. Reggie Miller's... Reggie Miller's position in terms of what he did yeah. just got better. It did. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> damn near. Damn near. Oh, he would have like, been Ray damn near Allen, better in this. You know, and then, like... <clears throat> It just, That's true. just got better. Like like you said, Reggie I don't know. Reggie Miller didn't do much. Yeah. I mean he did, but just just in terms of what like these guys, like I think people are, are 
finding it, you know, hard to believe that there's players now that have accomplished more than certain players that we kind of for sure. put as, you know, for competitors. Sure. And I, sure. I know they can say the errors are different. For sure. That's true also, but there are also players that are just better. For sure. This year, or this era, you know. Ooh, I'm going to do a six-man segment. Ooh, time. you should. Ooh. 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 That's about to shit, be five. Shit, shit, shit. That would be hard. So, we got finishers. Oh! You had it, finishers? I thought you just meant players. No, finishers. Bro, I would have... Okay, well, it's probably still... Nah, okay, that would be the same. It would probably still be the same. I probably... I said D-Rose was high. Yeah, it would be the same still. Okay. I'm, I thought you just meant players. Okay. Um. Yeah, so the best finishers out of these three in the prime, in their prime before they got hurt, start bench cut. So, Derrick Rose, Westbrook, and Gilbert Arenas. So, who, who are you going to... Uh, Gilbert Arena starting, Derrick Rose, Bench, starting. and okay. uh, Russell Cut. Even though I fuck, with, I fuck with all three. For finishing? In terms of... Fi- it, D-Rose it's, it's, over D-Rose? Gilbert Arenas? Um, we're talking about finishing in their prime. D-Rose in their prime when it comes to finishing? You can, you can, you can say D-Rose was better than Russell in his prime, but then D-Rose yeah. got hurt. But I think he was better D-Rose than Gilbert better... Arenas, though. Who? And finishing Russell, I think D Rose had a better finishing, um, could finish better than um, Gilbert Arenas in this prime. <laughs> you, you're talking about because you're you're looking at Derrick Rose in terms of explosiveness. I'm talking about going yeah. to the rim craftiness. Okay. Oh, so you, you just, know you okay, know okay, Derrick Rose can, can come down the I lane, wide open paint. You yeah. know, rise up and bop. Right. You know, Gilbert Arenas got a. But he had that. He had that. He had that. He had that. Like you know, contor- you know body inside, contortion. Outside. I know. Too. I know. But I, I, I'm still yeah. confident in my pick. Gilbert oh no, I'm not. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just. I'm just. On the bench okay. All and right. Russ cut. Okay. Even though I fuck with all three, all three are gonna of be course, Hall of Famers. Okay. In my I mean, eyes, are all three. All three are Hall of Famers. We don't. We don't. You know. We don't make easy segments, man. All these players are gonna be great. Oh, so yeah, we just. Course. We damn you just. They're all wearing the jacket at the end of the day. Do mm-hmm. they wear jackets in the NBA, or is it that that's the NFL that wears jackets? The NBA. <laughs> they, the NBA wears jackets. Yeah, they do. Do they? Yeah, they do. And they get a. They do. They get it. They, they get a jacket and a statue. I think. I know statue. Okay, jackets. Shit, I'm like, yeah, 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 dude, they do, they do when they're doing the little. Um, I'm watching the 2021 for sure. I'm, we're going off the tangent again. Yeah, but I'm watching that for sure. Yeah, for sure. So we got your uh, the timeout segment, right? Yeah. <laughs> going into the timeout. Bro, segment. I'm so mad because you already saw it, huh? You read it. You no, nah, I, I just saw. I just. Oh, okay. I did. <laughs> okay, Black Stars <laughs> episode seven. You know how we like to end Damn, I really our podcast. <laughs> we like to we like to give like notoriety to people out there that's doing big things on the court as well as off the court. Facts. In today's timeout segment, what player am I, bro? I'm so mad you read this though. I'm I didn't so mean mad to, bro. you read this. Bro. I didn't mean to. So I'm, first of all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off. On the reason why he he's raw on the court. Of course. People, oh yeah, people, no, he's nice everyone, to especially on especially the people the guest stars who appear on um all the smoke. They're like they all the smoke. They they ask these they ask these players like, who's the most underrated player in the NBA? And right. they always mention this guy's name. Yeah, the Lakers want him off too, the court. Right? Yeah, yeah, off he, the court, right. bro. He's doing, bro. This yeah. is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about what you wear on yeah. the, on your jersey. It's right. what you're doing to impact what is going on in Correct. the world. Right. So here we go. Drew Drew Holiday mm-hmm. and Lauren Holiday pledged to donate 5.3 million to c- combat systematic racism mm-hmm. as well as social and economic inequality. Bro, shit. Bro, he's willing. He's giving up his salary, his bubble restart right. bubble salary. That's too. Yeah, he already like, got money, man. Bro, Drew Holiday announced on Wednesday, Wednesday's edition of The Jump, mm-hmm. that he will donate the remainder of his 2020 salary, which can amount to a sum of $5.3 million, mm-hmm. to social justice causes through the newly created Drew and Lauren Holiday Social Justice Impact Fund. He's giving it back to his fund, too. Right. That's a tax write-off. 
That's and then he do shit everyone. with um. Didn't he do shit for like cancer organizations? Yeah. With his 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 wife. Yeah. 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 Like he's doing things, bro. Yeah. He's yeah. He's this this extremely charitable donation originated from Lauren one night, and Drew fell in love with the idea right. idea immediately when she said that it was kind of like, "Damn, you're a genius." Holiday said to Rachel Nichols, I "Feel some type of way about her." Yeah. I was, <laughs> I was so blessed to make this money and to play basketball and Man. still have a job, but there's people out there that need support and support from us who exactly. still have jobs and have been blessed so much. See, it's it's crazy to see like that. Like remember in, earlier in the podcast we were talking about how there's players out there that were literally exactly literally getting mad at the fact that they had to be in a bubble. Exactly. And then you see players on the complete other side of the spectrum that see the whole perspective. Exactly, bro. And they're able to think that, like that's, him. That's that's how you change it. Bro. Insane, that's how bro. you change it. I feel like this platform is giving these other oh, these yes. other athletes who have this knowledge to speak. You know, right? And it's good too because a lot of these athletes probably were just viewed as being just that. Like all they can do is just dribble. All they can do is just you know play the sports and be the stereotypical. You know, athlete, but exactly. showing that hey, man, we have more to bring to the table. Exactly, and we're using these platforms to pretty much. Uh, so broadcast. I gave you, I gave you the. Yeah, that's a really good. I didn't even go. What player am I? But I. When you said J, well, I mean, I already seen this so. on the court. Yeah, you saw it on the court. I'm just gonna give him a shout out as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Drew. Drew is nice, bro. Went to UCLA. Drew is First nice. off, let's let's give it let's give everyone all the brothers a nice huh? bro. All all yeah, the brothers are all nice, bro. He's a point guard slash shooting guard. Mm-hmm. Six nice, foot three, two hundred and three pounds. Yeah, dude is big, bro. Reigning from UCLA. Yep. Two thousand nine, number one pick, seventeenth overall. So he played with the Philadelphia 76ers from 2009 to 2013. Right. And he's with the Pelicans from 2013 to present. He's still on the Pelicans. Yep. So he was yep. an NBA All-Star in 2013. 2013 to present. 2013. So he's been on there for a while. He's been on there yeah, for a while. That's bro. good for him. He's been on there for a while. He got an All-Star with you the think, Pelicans. You think he's a Hall of Famer? Drew Holiday? Nah. Yeah. He's a quiet. You think we'll, he's we'll see, we'll, we'll see how his season. I think he's, he's still borderline. young. He, he to bro, me, he's still like. Yeah, I think he has the skill set. He's still thirty, bro. He's still young. Yeah, that's true. He you're just probably, hasn't really what? been. But he has the skill set of a star point guard. He just not. He's just not selfish. He doesn't yeah, have an ego, yeah, bro. That's when you're like the Pelicans don't know who's the key player. I think they do. I think it's Zion. It, it it would be better. It, it would be good with him. It would be it, it would be best for them to all sit down and get that chemistry, because Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, Lonzo they got that problem. they got they got that chemistry in L. A. Yeah. You know, and sometimes you got to make a sacrifice. And at this very moment, you know, young he's young, and mm. he he has a better he's a high he has a high trajectory than everyone else. Yeah. So it's wow. like get everyone else get your money, but. The face of the franchise. John needs to be a better ball handler, I think, for him. It's going to get better over time. Yeah, he will. I mean, he, he got slimmer, and we didn't know. Like, I was curious to see how he was going to come back and look like. The Pelicans, all of them healthy. JJ, Lonzo, Zion, yeah, JJ's gonna open Brandon too. Ingram. Yep. Who's your five, bro? Man. Was it o- It was Okafor at a mu- f- for Okafor, a is he still in quick No, he's still, quick he's still there. Yeah. No. Okafor is not there anymore. He's is not? He? I don't think so. But let me let me finish him off real quick. Right. Pause. <laughs> let me finish him yeah. off real quick. I think I about it. He was an NBA yeah. All Defensive First Team in 2018. Mm-hmm. NBA All Defensive Second Team in 2019. Pac-10 All Freshman Team 2009. Right. Gatorade National Player of the Year 2008. McDonald's All American in 2008. <sighs> First Team All Parade All American 2008. Third Team Parade All American 2007. In California, Mr. Basketball, 2008. I feel nice. like Cali pro- produces a more... Uh, he was big when he was NBA in college, too. Oh, bro. yeah. Bro, Cal- Everybody want to come to the West, bro. The West and, is and, just better. Well, his two on, other man. brothers are in the NBA, right? Yeah. Um, uh, he, Justin was on our, the Warriors for a little yeah, bit, too. Yeah. And another, another... The younger one, he's coming up, I think. Or he... I don't know if he's coming up or he just... They, I think... 
Justin Justin went to what Washington State or something like that. Yeah. And the so other one went to the youngest one to, went to UCLA too. Yeah. The youngest the one was in the NBA too. too. Yeah, he, I think I, he's in the NBA right now. I, I think I think he just got to the NBA. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I think this year was his rookie season. Yeah. But yeah. That's nah, it. That's all three of y'all getting the NBA. Like y'all are just athletic as fuck. Bro, I'm bro. telling you, it's that's insane. When you see someone do it, it and you and and. And they're so the accessible to you. Yeah, you know how to you do know it. They, they, yeah, you know yeah. how to do it. That's why you see, like, I'm pretty sure if if <laughs> if Steph's son wants to play in the NBA, he probably could. You know, I mean, he knows how to get there. Yeah, he knows how to get there. The he only, the only to... downfall is just, like, the uh, the hype. That's it. Once he gets over the hype and he understands, like, yo, that's my dad. I'm my, I'm myself. Right. That's all you can do. You can, you Same can just thing be with the best LeBron's you. son. You know, he's probably going to get the NBA. Bro, but... he's... Bro, he's my height, Duncan. Fresh, bro, one, I'm like, how he grow so fast? Because I watched him in, like, middle school. I'm like, yeah, he just grew. That is puberty age, so, I mean, some people's genes are just different, man. Like, you alien. I mean, it's in the genes. They know how to get there. They know what to do, bro. Yeah. And that's it. Man. But that's, that's our episode for... Episode seven. Seven. Yo, we got a new logo. We got a new logo. Woo, that logo nice, man. What was, what was your main name? Your main we, name? Uh, Franco was, Alvarez. Franco Alvarez, we're gonna, we're bro. Thank you for that. His, we're going to post his link in our uh, bio the description. On yep. Yep. Bro, thank you for that that logo. We looking nice and crisp. Yeah. With you want to get a logo done? Eight. Nice logo. He's the guy to hit, hey, hit check up. Check him out. Check He's him dope, out. bro. Yo, salute. We yeah. out.